Greetings everybody, this is Patrick from Artwork and Oddities coming to you once again from the void out of time and space. And today, we got ourselves the BAM Box Horror. You can fit a lot of BAM into this box right here, I'll tell you what. Now, another thing I'll tell you what, if you are a BAMer, or you want to be a BAMer, you want to be part of the BAM Box community, you have uh, just, just less than a year left. Uh, actually about six months left to jump onto it. Um, if you, if you are part of the community, you have no doubt heard that Bambox, unless they are being bought out, shall be going away. Adam and the group have decided to split off and do some other things. Um, fly culture, I'm not 100% sure what that is. And then the Big Beast, which is what the, the cards were, uh, which I liked, other people didn't. But that, that was that's sort of Adam's creation there. He likes the Big Beast and the Beast creature. Um, so, uh, it looks like what I'm going to be doing, because they should be coming up on the 16th, I said, I think they said, uh, we'll be doing, like, um, sales for their, uh, uh, the last, the last six months. So coming up for, for July through December, as of December, he's gone. So, let's hope they, they, they keep up the standards that they have created in the last uh, last few boxes, because um, I've I've liked it. They 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 went high, and then they sort of teetered off. Some people got got weirded out by it, the some some handmade props and things like that, and then it, it went back up. I think so. Let us see. They they promised that they're not gonna to lessen quality. Um, I should have a couple more boxes, like some really cool boxes that I've ordered coming in. So hopefully those will be some good ones. So let us see exactly what is in this month's BAM Horror Box. As always, cut away from yourself and the seal is broken. All right, gonna put that underneath. I'm hoping I'm not gonna need it, but I probably will. You'll see, if I need it, you'll see it. If not, never mind. All right, so first of all, you got ourselves we got ourselves some black tissue paper. We got, ooh, we got, ooh. For the prop, we have some sort of heavy duty knife. I don't know what this is from. Holy cow. Uh, is, it, is it, yep, it's just a QR code. So I will have to look up what this is, but it is cool. It is heavy duty. Uh, probably, probably do some damage with that. I mean, it's not, it's not. But still, it is heavy enough. That you could still probably do some damage if you wanted to. That is pretty nifty. Don't know what it is. Okay, I'll. Yeah, if you know what it is, comment please, because I'd love to know. Ceremonial dagger of some kind. Our pin. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what this one is though. This here is Slumber Party Massacre 2, I want to say. Because that is the one that goes kind of all kinds of crazy. Uh, it's a musical. It's a horror, it's kind of a comedy. It's a, it's a hoot, I'll give you that. And yes, the Driller Killer, with his, with his Driller guitar there. Love it, love it. Nope, oh, <laughs> okay. First of all, let's take a look at uh, the print from X. The first of the X parody or uh, trilogy. You got X, you got Pearl, and you got Max Scene. Uh, haven't actually seen them. I own the two. I mean, Max Scene isn't out yet, but I own the first two. Just haven't had time uh, to, to watch it yet. But um, I like it. I already saw what this is, so I'm kind of excited. 
Mia Quigley. Ah, amazing. Yay. She, she, she is definitely uh, an amazing Scream Queen. I believe this is from Night of the Demons? Demons? I don't know. I don't know. But this is a um, very interesting scene, what happens to this lipstick. Uh, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if I haven't, it's, uh, it's a trip. But yeah, so Linnea Quigley, that is awesome, honestly. Very cool. All in all, good box. Um, again, no, no code. So what I'm gonna do is if you'll hold on just a moment, I'll probably, uh, you know, cut this part out and, uh, and, uh, we'll get, we'll get right on this. So I will be right back. All right. And we're back. And I got my trusty, trusted thing here to show us it's a little blurry, a little blurry, but, uh, what we got here. So it doesn't say exactly what movie it is, but, uh, one of the, one of the things that they were talking about was that it's going to be Scream Queen. And that is where we got Linnea Quigley from, which is amazing. Honestly, going to be, going to be absolutely honest with you. She is a, she is a wonderful person and has been in so many different horror movies, just so many different camp ones. I'm sad. Oh, awesome. Just closed again. <laughs> I'm sad because one of them that you could get was uh, her horror workout here. Get that signed. But there are some amazing ones. Like, yeah, you got, uh, I'm just going to continue saying Night of the Demons because I think that's it. Uh, you got uh, Return of the Living Dead, a couple of them here. You got her uh, horror workout there. So yeah, very cool. Uh, I will have to keep an eye out for some other ones because that's cool. That's nice. And yes, X, we got two different ones here. Man, that is blurry as all get out. That doesn't help us for anything. So I got the, the normal one, yeah, Slumber Party Massacre 2, as I said, awesome. I got, you know, just the normal one, the, uh, the crazy melty one, that's fascinating. And then this is from Ash vs. Evil Dead, because that is, that is you know, a Kandarian uh, ceremonial knife, probably. I have not seen Ash vs. Evil Dead. I will be honest with y'all out there. I have not seen it, and uh, that kind of makes me sad. But uh, yeah, I have to get back onto it. I need to just do like a whole sitting for all of it. I mean, Evil Dead Rise was cool. Has nothing to do, you know, with, with Ash or any of those, but I like it. Very cool, very cool box. I am super happy with it. Anyway. Again, I'm hoping that they will uh, they will continue to do awesome things like this. Linnea Quigley is a is a great great get. I'm happy. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what the next six months have to uh, to offer us. It should be fun. It should be a trip. And uh, if you have any suggestions for other horror boxes, since since my my big ones going away, uh, let me know. And I will keep an eye out and uh, try to figure out some other ones to get because I like I like mystery boxes and I like horror so put them together boom you're good to go uh, if you haven't yet check out one of my my last videos in which I got a $20 horror mystery box from uh, Phoenix fan fusion it was an interesting one filmed it uh, I, I bought it, went to the hotel room, and filmed it right away. 20 bucks. One of, the, one of the 20 bucks I have spent on a box. I'll just say that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, I will see you on the other side.